Right, so I'm going to order these PCBs, which I've already exported as Gerbers from uh, Eagle. Um, I've already got them set up as a file, so I'm going to create a new account to show you the whole process. I've blurred out the email address here, so you can't see that for obvious reasons. Okay, instant PCB quote. One design, two layer, if I four, uh, 1.6 mil thick, standard thickness. I want yellow, white silk screen, standard lid. One ounce copper, yet yeah, that's fine. Here's the ball, let's measure. So that is 104 by 85. Okay. Quantity, I'll take 10. What the hell? Calculate price now. So here we go. Well, this, this is 32 bucks in my case because of the ball being so big, it's being more than 100 mil. Um, if I, I don't know, can I tweak this down in size maybe? Can I get 4 mil off this board? I probably could do actually, couldn't I? I think I could get the ball down by 4 mil. Which will reduce the price. My board, I've resized it now, so I just I actually went away and tweaked the design to get it below 100 mil. Because when you go over 100 mil, the pricing goes up a lot. So I've managed to squeeze it down because I redesigned the layout and some stuff anyway. So I actually had a bit of space to play with, as before I didn't. So if I get so get 20 balls, I might give some away to people. We eh? might do that. Okay, so let's calculate that. 41 dollars. If I get 10, it's only five dollars. All right. There you go. If I do 15, does that come up anymore? Yeah, see, that's a big jump there. It's obviously because of their prototyping specials and stuff. So, I don't want DHL. Uh, EMS will do. Um, DHL costs a lot more because I'm rural. It ends up being like $40 more or something for the DHL. It's ridiculous. Um, just the way they. DHL price it. So choose a country. Uh, New Zealand. There we go. Shipping 24 bucks. Yeah. Okay. What other options are there? Oh, China Post. That's eleven dollars. Uh, that'd be fine. E packet. That's eleven dollars. I'll do that one. Okay, so DHL is going to be expensive because I'm raw delivery. It's going to be a lot more than this. So I'm going to. Um, what did I say EMS was? That's 24. I'm going to go with China Post. All right. So it's going to take a while to get here. 25 to 50. Uh, I don't really want that. Mm, it's going to take a little bit longer than I want. Um, EMS is faster. We'll go with EMS, right? It's going to take about two weeks, which is fine. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Now I need to upload the Gibber file. So, add Gerber. So, here's the Gerber. Submit the order. Done. It would seem. Obviously, you do check out normally. I have to wait review. Um, so my order details are here. So I need to send this through to um, PC Way for their sponsorship thing. Yeah. So PC Way are sponsoring this video, and they're providing me with free PCBs. So this is why I'm going through this process on PCB website. I've used PCB Way before myself and I actually paid for their service and um, it's been good. I haven't had any problems with it so um, I've used them a few times. Um, I haven't made a lot of boards in you know to be honest but I've used PCB Way and I've used a couple of other companies as well but PCB Way is as good as any other any other ones so I've, I've used and fast and quality is good and that sort of stuff so um, Right, so that's enough of that. This will then get processed. Uh, normally you proceed to check out once it's been verified and, and confirmed it's okay. 
and um, you do that then you pay for the boards and, and go through the book payment process which I won't be doing because it's sponsored so I'm going to have to pay in this case and then once it's done then you get to monitor the progress of the boards you can actually see the um, the, the uh, process of the order we can review it here as well and it's all fine so I'm going to go away and do this so I'm going to show you the Gerber file stuff here now this is a Gerber viewer there's many of them online. You can just pick and choose any one. I've got this one bookmarked, so I'll just use this one. I believe this one's used by a few companies. Um, Easy EDA. I know they're manufacturing boards as well. So, um, but yeah, I've I'll just use this because it's just I've got one I've got bookmarked. But there's other ones. I've already uploaded the Gerber file, so you can get an overview here of the file of what the board's going to look like, and then you can do individual views. And not a top view here. So you can just use this to verify your design looks right before you go and get the thing manufactured. I highly recommend you do it in case you have a glaring mistake which you haven't noticed straight away. Very easy to make a mistake. Um, usually the board manufacturers will pick it up and they'll often find the error and point it out to you and say hey something's not right. But not always. You may not be that lucky. You may be that they don't see it either and you don't actually end up having it. So you can see I've got some markings on the bottom here warning the high voltage. Um, and you know there's the basic PCB is what it should pretty much look like. So um, PCB Ray may even have their own Gerber viewer option on their site. I haven't had a poke around actually. I should probably have a look. But so there's loads of Gerber viewers online. This is just one of them. And it's just a good way of checking files. Alright so in the meantime I'm waiting for my order here to be processed. So once it's been processed, then we'll be able to track the progress. That's like 10 boards of $5, 1 or 2 layer, which is less than 100 by 100 mil, which is basically what I've just done, all right? which is why it's at a $5 price. Oh, it failed audit. We've already checked it. 0.8 mil minimum slot width. Okay, so they've already um, reviewed it and said no, no good. Okay, so I shall fix that now. Let's go and fix that. So my slots are too narrow. All right, that's not a problem. We should go in, and they want larger slots. So let's just grab this. Let's move over this way a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, shall I? Uh, larger slots. So I want 0.8. So I've got 0.4. They want 0.8. So it's that thickness there. That's what they want. Is that one? Which is fine. I was just trying to keep it small and delicate. That's fine. I'll just go and fix those and we shall resubmit it. It's probably a fast way of doing this, but yeah, I, I'm not... Oh, one eight. Um, I'm hardly a whiz at making PCBs. I've, as you can see, I've done it, and I can do it. I'm just not exactly the best at it. Certainly not, not by long shot. It's just something I've taught myself over time. Um, I mean, I've got slots over the place here that some probably aren't even necessary, really. I'm just being over cautious because of the high voltages. Um, yeah, just one of these things. Just trying to make sure I've got everything covered. All right, go over here. I think these are the last ones. So, sorry if this is a bit tedious, but. Um, So I don't know if there's a faster way or not that may be. Have I missed any slots? I don't think so. I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. Okay, so I'll do a save. And we shall redo this. Export the job. That's the job done. Now I need to re-upload it. Let's uh, compress that one. Paste that. Okay, come back in here. We should re upload the Gerber, which is the new one. Right, 
let's see what I think of that one. So, uh, only about, what, three or four minutes later, after I submitted that new Gerber file, it's already been checked and approved. So now it's waiting payment. So normally you go through here and check on payment and process it. Now, because I'm not doing this, um, I'm not paying for this, um, I don't need to go through this process here and say I'm not going to, I can't show you this, but there's a the page there. For any details there, you've got various payment options, um, PayPal and credit card, etc. So it's all nice and convenient. And I think they've also got a $5 off option here too, which is quite nice too. So if you're only doing a, you know, a fairly low amount, it's even better. It's a great discount. So I think it's got some of my first time purchase on this account I've set up on here for the purpose of doing this project. So um, yeah, that was pretty quick. All right, so I just logged into the PCB Way website and uh, Checking on progress of the order, and it thinks it's already been processed. So let's actually go in and have a look. So it gives you a date and time when that process has been completed. So that shows you where you're up to. Now this has only been what? How long is that? 16 hours or so since I actually placed the order. Not bad, is it? Um, so it actually up to play two through holes now, which is good. So by the end of today, this should be finished, I expect. So I thought I'd show you that, and don't forget to go and check out PCB Way, because you know they're sponsoring me and stuff. So the PCBs have arrived from PCB Way, and this is the final result. They look absolutely fine. The quality is as I'd expect, um, and as per my previous experience with PCB Way, it looks bang on. Um, you know, it all looks fine visually. Can't fault it. It's exactly as you expect from a professional PCB manufacturer. So uh, there's the final result. Now this has only been a week since the order was processed, so that's a pretty quick turnaround as well. So one week. Um, so I'm happy with that. And that wasn't even the expedited service, that was the, the cheaper postage option. So, um, you know, that was supposed to have taken up to two weeks. So I'm happy with that. Also, if I used the more expensive postage option, it would have been a bit faster, but um, it wasn't really worth it, because I wasn't ready for the board straight away anyway. So... Here we go.